Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a get ready with me to go see Cabaret with one of my best friends, Madison. So yeah, right now we're gonna head to Goodwill because I don't know if I wanna wear any of the clothes that I have. So we're gonna see if mm, Goodwill's got us covered. If not, we'll just figure it out. So. Okay, so I'm at Goodwill and I found a bunch of dresses and like, so the dressing rooms are open again after like COVID and everything, but I just now discovered that apparently they're op only open from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Um, so I'll have to come back in like an hour and a half and I should be like getting ready by then. So I don't know, it's a bit annoying. Um, I'll live for sure, but um, I just wanted to try on dresses to make sure that they fit me. So we're just gonna figure it out some other way. Here's one of the dresses. I think it's a little funky. I don't think we're gonna go for it. I might buy it anyway. Dress number two. Kind of digging it. Don't know if it's what I'm gonna wear. This most definitely is a statement, but I feel like I would only wear this if I could find something that would go with it really well. How about the top half? Because I feel like I just wouldn't look as good on me. Here's the last one. This one, I think it's definitely a tie between this one and the, the last one. So. Okay, I'm back from Goodwill. I'm gonna give you guys a little haul. Give me one second. I got two different dresses to choose from. Um, so I did end up getting like, you know, the funky little disco dress, um, which is really cute. I honestly kind of love it. Um, I was, okay, this one I kind of just got because it was only like, it's literally, it was only $3. So I was like, why not just get it anyway, even if I don't choose to wear it. And then, I have this like little slit kind of dress um and then i don't know what shoes i wear i would wear with these but i do have a pair of shoes for the like the funky disco one and i got these um i think they're size up but i have like little insole things to like make it fit my size a little better the other thing i got which has nothing to do with this um the show is i got these little barbie booty shorts for pajamas so I'm excited about those. Um, so I'm gonna try on some outfits and we're just gonna see what works best. While trying to put on a shoe, look what, ha look what fucking happened. I hate this shit. Okay, so anyway, here's outfit number one. We got like a little cardigan thing going on. This, um, for the shoe situation, we got these little things. I feel like it looks better in concept than it really does on me. We're gonna try on the other outfit. Howdy folks, it's Ariel and editing. Um, I tried on the other outfit. The shoes are still cute. The dress did not work. Um, it was really baggy in like weird areas and it was just not flattering at all. So I decided not to even show that one because it was, it was bad. So um, we're getting rid of that one probably. Giving it to someone else, I don't know. We'll figure okay. out. So we just got out of the shower, figure out the outfit situation. Um, I'm gonna Here's the makeup and the hair. Um, it's giving, it's cute. Little butterfly earrings, just this plain old little black beaded necklace. Um, I went with this dress. Please mind the mess on the floor. I'm dealing with moving back into my house, so. Um, there's that. Um, now I gotta, I have shoes, but my shoes are in the car. So, I'm, um, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Um, so, now I gotta go pick her up. Okay, so, I am driving to the gas station really quick to get gas, and then I'm gonna go pick up Madison. Um, my car is, like, dangerously low, and I live in Vancouver, and I'm driving to Portland, so I wanna make sure that I have gas. Um, so, um... Yeah, I just, I'm just gonna go grab gas and I'm gonna get Madison. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, we finished the show. It was really good. The ending, I liked the ending more than the movie, personally. I liked the, I liked the, the show ending more than the movie ending. It was a sleigh. This is Madison, my best friend. Hi. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're gonna go do something. Okay, so I just dropped off Madison. 
Um, I really liked the show. It was really interesting because I've only ever seen the movie. So it was, it was very, very different from what I'm used to. And at first I wasn't a big fan of it, but that's like, I think for me partially just because I normally don't like changes, especially because I love the original Cabaret movie so much. So I was like very torn about it being so different from the original. Well, not from the original, actually. This technically was the original. Because I also learned that apparently in the original, like, it was written originally as Sally was British and Cliff was the American. But they changed it. They swapped it for the movie. And I am 100% sure that that's because of Liza Minnelli. Um, but... It was really interesting. I really liked it. Um, I think in the beginning I was a little more like, I think I was more upset about the fact that Sally wasn't as, as much of a main character as she's in the movie. But I think after like, once I saw the ending and like everything tied together, I was actually really glad that she wasn't the focal point. I think it's very interesting. I don't know. I think the only thing, I think I definitely would have liked to see more of Cliff and Sally not more more but more in the way that like I feel like a lot of the uh, like aspects that were kind of really big about their relationship were very brushed over and I don't know if that was just this production or if it was like a, like just a thing that kind of is you know just how it how the show is um but I really enjoyed it I think the singing and dancing was not the dancing it was fucking amazing. Oh my god. The dancers were so good. Um, I really loved... I think MC is probably still my favorite. I think MC has always been my favorite. Um, especially the ending. Oh, that shit had me good. Um, <laughs> I almost cried at the ending because it was like... I was like, oh my fucking god. This is like... It was... Oh, it just... Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Eat that shit up. Um, like, oh my god. It was so good. I love seeing it. Um, I saw it at um, Stumptown Stages. Um, their their next production is going to be the Full Monty. Um, they just uh, this was their last show of Cabaret, um, but I really loved it. I think it was really good. Uh, it was it was just it was different than what I was expecting, and at first I didn't like that. But I think once the show was over, I really really enjoyed the differences, and I think I really love the movie and like the stage musical as their own different pieces and I appreciate their differences and I, I love their differences because there's so many things that I love about the movie because I do love the fact that the movie is more centered on Sally and her relationship but I also love that the musical isn't because I think with the musical it's I don't know it's just it's very different but I really really enjoyed seeing it I love getting out with Madison of course she's one of my best friends um but it was just really awesome um to see a different version of it because that's one of the things that we were talking about me and Maddie um, we were talking about how that's one of the things that we love about seeing shows, like, you know, in theater and, like, you know, just because in art in general, really, it's always so up for interpretation. It is about what you take away from it as an audience member. It's about what you take away from it as a performer. And it's everyone interprets it differently. And it's just, yeah, I think that's something that's so beautiful about it is everyone can take something away from everything, I believe. And not in like the taking, like taking away, you know, but like everyone can take some sort of message away from it because there's so many of them. And I think there are plenty that hit home for a lot of people, especially in a show like Cabaret, both the movie and the musical. And I think that a lot of the heavy themes are very relevant today still. And it's kind of sad because a lot of them were about fighting oppression and there was, you know, a lot of shit with the Nazis and with people who were sexually deviant, and, you know, things like that, and abortions, and, like, all of those kinds of things were so taboo, and to an extent that they're taboo today and people don't really talk about it, but it's also very relevant because there's still a lot of shit going on that, like, I don't know, like, abortion rights are, like, going back in you know and it's just crazy it's really but it was a really really good show i really enjoyed seeing it um i would definitely recommend the downtown stages uh every show that i've seen there has been great i saw um i saw little shop of horrors there um a couple months ago back in october before i left for california i saw 
West Side Story, like, oh my god, probably like, oh, it was a while ago. I saw it a couple years back. Um, probably in 2019, I think. 2018 or 2019, I can't remember. I think it was 20, 2019. I think it was 2019 that I saw it. Um, that was gorgeous. Um, I think they always put on a good show. Um, and I really, I've always really enjoyed every production that I've seen there. So if you are in the Portland area, I would definitely recommend, especially because I think their tickets are a lot cheaper than like touring company shows. Um, like at the Keller, as much as I love the Keller, because believe me, I do, but I'm like broke as fuck. So I can't always afford the Keller. Um, but I don't know, it's it's very interesting. I like I like getting to see stuff like that. And it's, it's, it's really exciting. So, um, just got home. But yeah, I got some Dutch. Now you bought me Dutch. Definitely comment, comment your opinions on Cabaret. What is your opinion on Cabaret? Have you seen it? Have you seen the, only the original? Have you only seen the staged version? Like, what are your thoughts on it? I personally love Cabaret. Um, I think the movie is always going to be near and dear to my heart, but I think that the staged musical is up there too. Like I said in the other clip, I personally actually liked the ending of the stage musical more because I think it had a way bigger impact than the original or like than the movie. But I also really loved, I don't know, I liked the movie too. It's just, I don't know, everyone, mm. I will always be for people creating art. And I will always be for Bob Fosse. Period. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, have a good day.